Hi guys and welcome to Salim's Kitchen. It's been a while since I've made a video. Now I'm back and uh, I'm going to be doing more videos more often. Today I'm going to show you how to make the most popular Indian bread, which is known as roti. This recipe calls for very few ingredients and it's absolutely soft and delicious. So let's get started. Ingredients required are 750 grams of all-purpose cake flour which I've put in a bowl. Two tablespoons of all-purpose cooking oil. Normal cooking oil, just add it in the bowl. Two tablespoons of butter, salted butter. Add that in the bowl as well. And one flat teaspoon of salt. So now I'm just gonna give this a mix. Now I'm adding in the water. In goes your water. Once this dough comes together, I'll tell you exactly how much of water I used. I'm gonna add in little at a time. And now you don't wanna get your hands in there because the, your hands will burn, the water is too hot. So I'm using a spoon to bring it together. Just like this. Just pick it up and press it down. It's like how you would you would bring it together with your fingers but now you, you're using a spoon because remember we're using boiling hot water okay I've got this section ready I'm going to put in more water on the side just like this just pour it over okay let's bring this together let's press it down Okay, a little bit more water that's left here. Okay, so, so I've used 450 milliliters of water for this recipe, which is just under two cups of water. Okay, now I'm, I'm gonna leave this for, for, for like two minutes or so, just, just for it to cool down so I can get my hands in there and we can start to knead. Okay, it's been just over two minutes and it's still fairly hot, but I'm gonna get my hands in here and I'll show you a trick how to get this, uh, to start kneading this. So you wanna put your hands in there and bring it up here like this and push it down with your fist. Just continue doing that, push it down with your fist. That way you won't get burnt, your fingers won't burn. So it's not as hot as it was when we first started, but it's still hot, you can still get burnt. But by doing this here, I think this is the way to go. Your fingers won't get burnt. You can see it's all coming together now. Okay, guys, once everything comes together like this here, so now we can work with this dough. So now I'm going to remove it from the bowl, put it on the table, and I'm going to start to knead it. We want to tear this dough, and we want to knead this dough for at least five minutes. So you just carry on kneading it, tear it, Bring it together, tear it, and just carry on kneading it for five minutes. Okay, guys, if your dough is a bit sticky, you can see my dough is a bit sticky, so you can just add it, add, add in some dry flour, not a lot. Remember, we don't affect the texture of this, of this dough, so uh, just a little dry flour, and we can continue kneading. Okay, there you go. My dough is now ready. You can see how beautiful it is. It's not sticky. So this is what you're gonna be looking for. So now moving on to the next step, we're gonna roll this thing out long. So this, this, this dough is very soft, so it's very easy to work with. So I'm gonna cut it in half here. You can use your, your hand as a knife because it's very soft. Just like this, just roll it out. not too thin and then you're going to use your hand and you're just going to cut out pieces it's going to cut out pieces like so let's do the next piece same thing roll it out 
And remember, if you want your roti bigger, you can cut the pieces bigger. Like if I'm cutting here, and if you want a bigger roti, you can cut it there. Run, run your hand like this, comes off. Okay, now we're gonna make them into smaller rotis, like small discs, like so. This is very similar to my samosa pastry video, where we do uh, the same procedure, uh, where we actually cut it with a knife, if you can remember for those, uh, for you guys who've watched that video. We, I, I've cut it with a knife and then we've made them into small discs, just like this here, so it's, it's a very same procedure. Okay, I've flattened all my discs, made all my discs. So I'm gonna apply some dry flour on the table, not a lot. So I can lay these small rotis or discs on the table. And uh, with this amount of flour that I've used, I've got exactly 12 rotis. So this will give you exactly one dozen roti. Guys, we are now, uh, I'm now gonna be rolling out the rotis. And remember, it's very difficult to roll uh, any dough that is soft like this here. So I'm going to show you how to do it. First, what you want to do is you want to take some flour and leave it on the table like that. And then before you start rolling, take some flour and apply it on the table like so. And then leave your, your, your small disc on top. And then you want to take some flour in your hand and just sprinkle a little, little on both sides. Remember, the whole idea is we, we do not want to put too much of flour here because we'll, we will definitely mess with the texture of this, of the roti. So just like this now, you press it down. Right, we got that. So next step is take your rolling pin, take dry flour, apply it on your rolling pin and rub it like so. Right, so your, 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 your dough will not stick on the rolling pin. So now we start rolling and remember, we, I'm pressing very lightly. Very lightly. Once it gets stuck like that, once you get once you, once it gets stuck, turn it and roll again. Remember very lightly. You keep on doing the same thing. You keep on turning it around. Keep on turning it around. Very lightly. If you press too hard, the roti is going to get stuck on the table. You can see the roti is now forming. You can see the roti is forming, and there's not much not much dry flour on top which is a good sign. And then I wanna turn the roti over. And then I wanna apply some more dry flour on my rolling pin. And roll this out slightly more bigger. Just work with it, move your rolling pin all around. Turn it around again. Remember very lightly. There you go, guys. Look at that beautiful roti. Not too much of dry flour, so we we maintain the texture of this dough. Look at that beautiful roti. So now you want to apply some little little dry flour down, and set your roti on the table. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna roll out all my rotis, and then we're gonna move on to the next step, which is toasting. Okay guys, all my rotis have been rolled out. I got exactly 12 rotis, which is one dozen. So you can see they're looking beautiful, nice and round. And so now I'm gonna start toasting them. For toasting, you'll need some melted butter. I'm using a non-stick frying pan. I've got it on high heat. Uh, uh, so now uh, you can see the, the, the pan is nice and hot. So I'm gonna drop it to medium and start toasting. In goes my first roti. Okay, uh, the roti is now toasting. Once you see a bubble starting to, to, to appear, uh, that will tell us to turn the roti over. You can even put your hand in and just turn it around like this. You can see the bubbles are, the bubbles are starting to form. You can see the bubbles are all starting to form. So now I'm gonna turn it over. And then once I turn it over on this side, I'm gonna to start to apply my, my, my butter all over. The 
This is salted butter, pure butter. So now I'm going to turn it over again. And I'm going to apply butter on this side as well. it one more time look at that guys beautiful roti then I'm going to use a tongue to remove my roti there you go beautiful soft and guys this roti is smelling great and I know it tastes great guys my smell I'm toasting my next roti same 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 procedure just wait for the bubbles to form and then once the bubbles form, we'll turn it over and we'll apply that. We'll apply our butter. Okay, guys, you can see all the bubbles are forming. So I'm going to turn it over. And then I'm going to apply the butter. Turn it over again and apply some more butter on the side. Look how lovely it's rising. Smelling delicious, smelling great. Just one turn more. And there you go, guys. Beautiful roti. You can have it with tea, you can have it with curries, you can have it with anything. You can eat it just like this. Okay guys, all my rotis have been toasted. You can see how beautiful they look, nice and round. A perfect stack of rotis. Now I want to tear one open and let's see the end result. Look at that guys, perfect roti. Okay guys, I'm going to have a taste of this roti. Mm. Mm. Perfect. Delicious, scrumptious. Guys, I hope you guys enjoy making rotis just like this. Here. And I would like to take this opportunity to wish Muslims all over the world Ramadan Mubarak and may, uh, may you guys have a blessed month. And to the people all over the world, may God make it easy for, for all of us through this uh, corona pandemic and be safe, stay indoors. And guys, please do not forget to subscribe. And if you've enjoyed this video, please press the like button. And do not forget to press the bell icon to get immediate updates. Thank you and God bless. Peace out.